But sticking with the Tars for the moment, let's go hydrating with Will Skelton and our very own Sean Maloney. Well, cheers, Will. Cheers, mate. It has been a great pleasure watching your emergence in recent weeks on Super Rugby Front. How much have you enjoyed being out in the middle? A lot. Um, I think it's been an amazing ride for me from where I've come from and, and just getting a lot of time on the field this year. And no, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. How far do you feel you've come as a player since your first touch base here at the Tars? A long way, I think. I think just from last year, was, I'll be on the field and I wouldn't know my role. and and uh, certain parts in the field I'll get lost and a bit tired, but now I'm, I'm sort of working with it and the boys are helping me out and stuff like that. So I think it's been a, it's been a good job, uh, ride. Take us back to 2012 when you first came to the Tars. What about your body shape? How much has that changed over that period of time? Um, yeah, I was looking a bit different back then. Um, I would just come off uh, back a year of injury. So my first training session with the Tars was in uh, late December. And uh, I got to do a camp with them and it really uh, tested me out. Uh, physically and mentally, and um, I'm lucky to, to get a contract in March the following year. For those who may be seeing you for the first time, can you run us through some of the stats? Uh, okay, uh, height is 203, 203, yeah, 203. Uh, weight, uh, I'm playing about um, just over 140 at the moment. I've been hydrating a lot <laughs> for the games. <laughs> okay, uh, shoe size? Uh, size 17, but then in boots, I'm size 18. OK, a lot of people have earmarked you for higher honours, obviously in the green and gold of Australia. Where does that sit in your goal setting? Um, I think with our team, we're, everyone's striving to, to get a Super Rugby title, and in the back of their heads, it's always that, that Wallaby cap. They're trying to get a Wallaby cap and, and be a Wallaby. And for me, I just try, I'm trying to work on trying to get into the TARS team every week, and, and that in itself is a challenge for me. And, and if someone else says that, I'll be ready to play, like say Link calls or something like that and says you're ready to play the Wallabies, then I'll definitely put my hand up. But at the moment, I'm just focusing on um, on this week and then we've got the Hurricanes next week. So that's my focus at, at, at this time. Just on that front, though, obviously Test Rugby would be another a step up. Do you feel as though that you could um, go the distance at a Test level? Yeah, I think so. I, um, I've had a big pre-season and I got a taste of it a little bit um, against the Lions last year. And, I played 80 minutes and I was struggling the back, back 20, but just those little experiences um, on the way of my career will really helps and um, puts things in retrospect where I think, oh, well, I'll, I should be able to, to cope with these big boys. And then again, we're all just rugby players and he's just the man. I'm, I'm another guy who can, if I run over him, he will tackle me and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to think about that. But then again, this week's a, a big focus for us as a team. All right, well, here's to Friday and here's to baby singing the green and gold one day. Nice, thanks, mate. Thank you, Will.